Are Microsoft really trying to compete with YouTube? No, surely not. But Microsoft do have their own video hosting platform and it's called Microsoft Stream. And that is what today's video is all about. But before we start, a quick introduction as always. My name is Jonathan Edwards. I'm a business IT consultant from Yorkshire in the UK. We help businesses all over the world with their IT support, the Microsoft 365, and the cyber security. Now, YouTube is obviously a video goliath. There is no way that Microsoft could ever possibly compete with that. But it's true that Microsoft do want to up their video game. They've got their own video hosting platform that is included with your Microsoft 365, and it's called Microsoft Stream. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how Microsoft Stream can really help your business. Now, Microsoft Stream was released back in 2017, but what Microsoft have been doing is adding more value and more features to it. What they're trying to do is offer your business one subscription, one payment, and for you to get all your applications that your business needs within that subscription. So what is Microsoft Stream? Well, for me, Microsoft Stream is like your own internal YouTube channel. In a world of hybrid and remote working, you can use Microsoft Stream in your business to film company events, training sessions, or even make announcements. Now, there are a couple of ways in our business that we use Microsoft Stream. We use it to record Microsoft Teams meetings. Not many people know that you can do this, but you can record a Teams meeting and it can become a stream. This is really handy if you want to review the meeting in the weeks or months to come. Or if someone's missed that meeting, you can just send them a recording. Also in our business, we use Microsoft Stream to record processes because Stream has a really good screen recording function. So what we do is we go through a process and we record it. Lots of people like to learn this way rather than reading pages and pages of documentation on how to do common processes. Just create a video and pop it into Stream. So what do you think you could use Microsoft Stream for in your business? Well, before you answer that, let's hop onto the computer behind me and I'll demo Microsoft Stream and it might get your creative juices flowing. So firstly, how do we access Microsoft Stream? Well, there's a couple of different ways. Firstly, you can log into your 365 portal. You can see I'm logged in here. I've got all my applications down the left-hand side. Now, Stream obviously isn't there. So if I just click on App Launcher up here, more applications will appear and Stream is one of them. So I can simply click on that and Stream will open. Or you can just go to the direct link, which is stream.office.com and that will open the Stream homepage. So the first thing to note here, and it's really important that you get your head around this, any video that you put into your Microsoft 365 system will appear in Stream. So if I put a video into my OneDrive, it will appear here in Stream. If I put one in SharePoint, if I put one in Teams, they'll all appear here in Stream. So that's a really important point to note. So if I just scroll down now and I open one of my videos, this is just a, a short that I've done for YouTube. I won't play it for long. So you can see this is the kind of video homepage, if you like. So I'll take you through a few of the features. So firstly, in the top left-hand corner, we can create a new video if we want. We can upload an existing video to stream. Then we can add this video to a playlist. So if I click on that, a playlist is a Microsoft list. So if I go down here and open my lists, I've done another video about Microsoft lists on my channel, but I've got a, a list called YouTube Shorts. And basically that is just a playlist like you might have on YouTube. So you can have a Microsoft list, which is a list of videos. So why would this be handy? Well, you might have, um, for example, you might work in an accounts department and when you get a new starter, you might want them to watch several videos, you know, how to get started and how to be able to do your job effectively. Watch these 10 videos. So that would be a really good playlist. You could call this playlist something like new starter. So that's where playlists would come in. So if I just go back to the video, just cancel there. So you can add any videos to playlists. You can move the video. So you can move it from, from OneDrive to SharePoint or whatever you can copy. And then if you just go on here now, you can download that video as well. Towards the right hand side, 
You can share a video, so we can copy links, we can embed the videos in websites and things like that. And you can manage access to see who has access to this video. The next section here are chapters. Now, if you're familiar with YouTube, you'll probably know what chapters are. Chapters are really handy, especially if the video is quite long. It enables people to kind of jump to a, a certain section of the video that might be relevant without having to watch the entire video. If I just go over to my YouTube channel here, uh, you can see here on this video, there's different chapters. So if people just want to jump straight to the disadvantages of 365, Windows 365, they can do. And all these chapters are here down below. So it just enables people to get to the part of the video that is relevant to them. So that's the chapters, just close that. And then we've got transcripts. If we click on transcripts here, it basically transcribes everything I'm saying. So again, that's really quite handy as well. You can have comments, so people can watch this and leave a comment, something like, this is a great video, or something like that. So you can, everybody in the organization can comment on the videos. And then you've got some video settings here. So you can have a thumbnail. Again, if you're familiar with YouTube, you'll know that all videos can be overlaid with a thumbnail. So you can do that also in stream. The about here is this section at the bottom. So we can toggle this on and off if we feel we need it or not. You've got the transcription and the captions. Um, you can upload your own if you want. Chapters, again, you can switch on and off. Comments you can, and analytics. So there's all the video settings there. And then you've also got some basic analytics here. So how many times has this video been watched? It's all very basic when you compare it to YouTube, but again, it's all quite handy. So that is a specific video. So back to our main screen here, we've got some options here at the top under Create New. We can choose to upload a video. So if we've got a video from a phone or a, a film recorder or anything like that, we can upload that video into stream. The next button here is one of the most interesting. We can actually start recording our own videos. So if I click on here, you can see that recorder. Now I've got a webcam. Hello, how are you? So I've got a webcam on top of my computer so I can record videos straight away that will go into stream. So that is a really handy feature. In a world where we work in different places, when we work remotely, you can simply record videos for other people. You can make announcements. You can do all that kind of thing. And you've got some options here as well. If I click on here, the backdrop, I can have something different like that, something moving. I can just have a blurred screen. I've got all those fancy things here. Uh, something we use quite a lot of in our business is the screen recorder though. So if I click on here, we can simply choose to record the screen. So if I click select a screen, we can do a tab, a window, or the entire screen. We use that in our business quite a lot to create processes. So how do you do certain tasks? I think sometimes the easiest way to do that is to film a video of you doing it, and then people can watch that multiple times. So you just have to do the job once, and you, you get that benefit for a long time to come. If it's a long video, again, going back to the chapters, you can then create partition that video up into chapters. So that's a really handy thing for your business. Just cancel out of that and go back to record with camera only. Also down the right hand side here, we can put text on the screen if we want to. We can draw on the screen if we want to. We can do some really handy features, put stickers on there. We can frame, we can do all sorts. These are just kind of quite gimmicky, but you can see what we're trying to do. Or you can have a little board on the screen. Again, if you're showing people something, you can just film a video with you writing on the board. It's all got a bit silly now with the border, but you can do a lot of things. And once that video is completed, you can then upload it to stream and people can learn from it. So that is the recording section. I'll just pop out of there now and go back to the homepage. Uh, the playlist as well, uh, we've covered that, but I can create a new playlist from the screen here. So again, you might just want to create a, a playlist and put lots of different videos in there. So there you have it. There's Microsoft Stream. It's an incredibly powerful tool for your business. If you use it correctly, it can really, really supercharge your business processes. So I hope you've enjoyed that video on Microsoft Stream. You can really use it to bring video into your organization. I look forward to seeing you again soon.